today I'm doing something a little bit different. I have done recipe, uh, at least one recipe video in the past. I've done, uh, I've used recipe for um, doing my bottling, uh, but I don't often do something for dinner. And today I just felt like a simple recipe, something that's really easy, quick, and uh, inexpensive to make would be a, it would be a great time to share something like that. Uh, it's called in my family we call it beef stroganoff. Uh, now I don't know if it's actually stroganoff. It's just what we called it. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a chef. I don't know a lot about food or what actually stroganoff is. Uh, and even this recipe tonight that I'm making will be a little different than what we normally make because I usually use egg noodles in this recipe, but today I am uh, i don't have egg noodles, so I'm going to use elbow macaroni. So it's kind of just a casserole uh, type thing, uh, but it, it's really yummy and it is something really easy and depending on your ingredients can be really inexpensive to make. So let me show you our ingredients. All right, the things that you will need for this recipe will be two pounds of turkey burger or some other ground meat. It doesn't matter, it's excellent with ground beef, but ground beef is expensive. I get this um, turkey burger, it's about $1.78 a pound at Walmart, and so that's what I get. Uh, these are obviously elbow macaroni and not egg noodles. Egg noodles, you would get, I think they come in one pound bags, you'd get, a one, you'd get one large bag of egg noodles. You need two cans of cream of mushroom soup. You'll notice a lot of this is great value, you can always shop at the Walmart. Uh, you'll need an 8 ounce, you need 8 ounces of sour cream. And as a vegetable side for this, we will be having Brussels sprouts. So all in all, this recipe is going to feed my family of seven with leftovers for, I'd say, under $10, around $10 probably. Between $10 and $15, depending on where you live. So this is all stuff that's still available at this point at the stores and, and it's pretty easy to put together. To start with, you get a large pot and you put enough water in there to, that's going to cover your noodles. Um, I do about one third full and you get that boiling. After it's reached a rolling boil, you'll then add your noodles and you'll let that get back up to a boiling temperature again. I like to stir the noodles and let all the water get in between all the noodles because they they will stick together a little bit. Once it has reached boiling again, you will set the timer for 10 minutes and let it go. While that's boiling and the noodles are cooking, you will uh, open up and cook up your two pounds of ground beef, ground meat, ground turkey, whatever ground meat you want to put in there. Honestly, stroganoff is good with uh, like stew meat, well maybe not stew meat, but a thin sliced steak is really good. And then add your seasonings as you like them. We add a little bit of salt, we added a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder, and normally I would add some onion powder. You could add chopped onion to this. Chopped onions aren't very expensive, so you could add that as well and have it be really yummy. Turkey burger is has a lot of water in it, so I let it cook until the water has steamed off quite a bit and there's not much juice left. And then we add our two cans of cream of mushroom soup and our 8 ounce container of sour cream. Once they're added to your pan, you can stir them up and get it all integrated with your uh, ground meat. And that gets nice and warm and smooth and ready for the noodles. After about 10 minutes, your noodles should be cooked through. 
if they are firm but soft, then I will pull the noodles off of the stove and then I will drain them. Once drained, the noodles will go right back into the same pot that they were boiled in. And then back onto the stove. With everything all prepared, we then dump our meat sauce mixture into the pot of noodles and stir it up. Once that's stirred together, it's ready to eat. Serve it with a side of your favorite vegetable and enjoy a really yummy dinner. So there you have it, stroganoff, my version. Um, like I said, I usually do egg noodles in it. It was really good with the elbow macaroni. Uh, you don't have to use the sour cream if you don't want to. It tastes just fine with just the cream of mushroom soup. So if you have a, if you don't, if you can't eat the dairy, you don't have to have the dairy in it. Uh, it it's a yummy meal and it doesn't take more than maybe 20 minutes to cook. And so it's a quick, simple, inexpensive meal that you can make for your family that's really, really delicious. So, hope to see you on the next video, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.